Hello. Good evening, Hello, everybody. good evening, teacher. Hi, good Hi. evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. Hi. How's everybody doing today? Well, I'm okay so far. Fresh, by the way. Sorry, could you repeat that? I didn't hear very well. Yeah, and I say that I'm fresh. I already took a shower. <laughs> Ah, yes, I can see that. Okay, you're you're ready just for after the class directly to bed. I have <laughs> some. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, um, very good. All right, guys. So what we'll do is, oh, first of all, um, I have a question. How are we doing with the platform? I'm having a little bit trouble uh, in the section four because uh, the answers um, say um, the platform says are wrong, but I'm sure they're okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> in the first part. How about if we do this? Could you send in the group the um your answers? Um. Could you send like maybe like a a screenshot of your complete answers, and could you send also the um what's it called the the exercise number so that I can check. Okay, is that okay? All right. Yeah, it's okay. I okay. will do that. All right. Yeah. So I can check what's what's going on. What's what's the problem? All right. Thank you. Also, remember, guys, that sometimes the problem may just simply be, um, a, what's it called, um, a punctuation. Uh, so like you know, it could be that there's just one period missing, um, or there Double or, the space. sorry, double the space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. That that could also be a possibility. Like maybe there's an extra space there that that is not supposed to be there, or there's a letter that is missing. You know, simple things like that. Sometimes is the reason why it's not giving you the answer. So just double check that your answers are exactly as it should be. Okay. All right. I will check that. All right. Okay, great. So guys, uh, what about the rest of you? Are you having any pro any other problems? No? Okay. No. All right. Okay, so just remember as they have sent you guys in uh, the, the WhatsApp group um, that you guys have until um, like, Monday. Yeah, basically Monday, but uh, if you guys could do it earlier, much better, because the thing is that um, they need to check by Monday, right? Like administration needs to do everything on Monday. So um, we need to make sure that you guys have everything done before Monday, okay? So that's why it's really, really important that you guys um, do that, so that you do it before Anyways, in theory, you are supposed to have um, units four, right? A unit four and uh, and part of the midterm already done, right? So, um, so yeah, it shouldn't be too too difficult. The other thing is, has everybody sent um, their um, their manual? Proof like their their comprobante de manual. Yeah. Yes, I sent it. Okay, because that's the other thing that's very important. That you guys do remember there are a few things that you need to comply with in order to be able to get that diploma, and one of the things is uh, uh, the attendance of uh, eighty percent. So you got to be in the class eighty percent of the class at least. 
The other thing is um, your um, your platform has to be 80% of the home. In the homeworks, you have to have at least 80% to, um, a, accomplished and, and um, you know, and passing. And uh, you also have to have that um, proof of the manual. Okay, so those are the things that you need to comply with in order to get that diploma. And the idea is that that um, we're trying to get all the diplomas to you guys, but we also need to make sure that everybody uh, final um, finishes everything on time, so that we can, so that we do not have to be backing up the 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 diplomas. Okay. All right. Um, any questions? at this moment? No questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, so let me um, take attendance to begin with. Okay, here we go. Um, Andrea Geraldine Sanchez, Resinos. Present teacher. Great, thank you. Angela, sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Angel, uh, Antonio Ramirez Rodriguez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Brandy Marilu Pimentel Krolchek. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, did I say it correctly? Krolchek? No, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Edgar Abel Tejada Benitez. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Edson Stanley Hernandez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Eduardo Jose Melgar Melgar. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay. Uh, is it possible to turn on your camera, Eduardo? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. There you are. Thank you very much. Um, Iliana Janet Alvarado Molina. I'm present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Is it possible to turn on the camera? Oh, yeah. there you go. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, Irma Raquel Garcia de Monterrosa. Present teacher. Um, okay, got it. Thank you. Um, uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltran. Hi, person. Thank you. Joana Yesenia Garcia de Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Abelar. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. Uh, Nivia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. Nivia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. Eh, Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Caitán. Present teacher. Present thank, teacher. Thank you. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Ah, ¿Mm? uh, present oh, teacher. Uh, okay, present. hold on. Hold on, hold on. Eh, did I hear Reina Elizabeth Guerrero? Yes, present teacher. Okay. okay, hold on. Um, by Rin, um, Maria, Maria. Pero un momentito que es que están como hay un montón de voces que se están confundiendo, pero un momentito. Ok, déjeme hacer otra vez tomar la asistencia ahí. Ok. Um, ni va a Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Acaitán no sé es, le está fallando la, el la cámara. Es que sí, mi dispositivo, la cámara tiene problemas, aunque la tengo encendida, pero no sé, no, no sé por qué no se ve. Sí, así estoy viendo. Ok, vale, no hay problema. Ok, entonces ahora continuamos. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. 
uh, present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Can we turn on the camera, Roberto, to see your face? Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Saul Antonio Hernandez Torres. Present teacher. Got it. Thank you very much, Saul. Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. Present teacher. Wonderful. Are you also having problems with the camera? My camera is not working. Your camera is not working. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Yancy Andrea Melendez Mayen. Yancy Andrea. Sorry, again? Oh, yeah, gotcha. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and that's it. Okay, guys. So now, teacher, 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 no sé si yes. me tomó la asistencia a mí, Nidia. Nidia Esmeralda. Sí, okay. creo que ya la ya la había mencionado. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. um, we are now going to. Uh, tell me if you please can see my screen. You guys see my screen? No, it's yes. yes. Okay, perfect. So last class we were talking about pet peeves. Do you guys remember this? Do you remember we were talking about pet peeves? Yeah. Yes, teacher. What are pet yes, peeves? Teacher. What are pet peeves? Who remembers? It is is something that bother us when when something is not good when mm -hmm. for example when we are talking to someone and someone doesn't pay attention mm -hmm. that is up to this I get mad yeah exactly mad. yeah mm -hmm. right something that really bothers you that someone else does that's a pet peeve very good okay I told you guys that I would um give you a little bit more time uh, to t uh, discuss this. Um, I, to be very honest, I didn't take a uh, note of who you were with. So I'll just have to make a new groups, but you, I'll give you guys a little bit of time more to discuss the other questions, okay? So let's uh, make new groups. Okay, and I'll give you about five minutes to discuss, okay? Um, do you guys want me to send the the picture again? It's in the group, but do you guys yes, want me please. to send it again? Yes, could you please do it? Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, did you guys get it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I'm opening the groups right now. What we can do. 
Uh, can you uh, can you explain me what we can do? Uh, I'm really not sure right now. Excuse me. I I'm not sure. I don't remember actually. Really. Yeah. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Yeah. What were about? You, were you guys Does anybody now? Were you guys here on Friday? Yes. I was here on Friday, but I don't remember. I'm sorry. Okay, so on Friday, uh, I sent this picture about different <laughs> types of pet peeves. And um, there were some questions at the bottom to discuss, right? Some of the questions is, which of the above pee pee peeves do you have a about people you know? Which ones are is the worst? Um, which is a pet peeve you could be accused of? when and why are you when and why are you guilty of it and what other things do you get pe peeved about so those are oh. the questions that you have to discuss oh all right thank you thank you okay all right all right so i can start first um i think my guilty about that is never return phone calls or answer our emails <laughs> I never do it. I always forgot about that. I read it, but I never answer. Okay, what about the other people in the group? In my case, I have problem because always I'm late, you know. <laughs> so that's the that's, I have problem with that thing. So what about you, Nidia or Ileana? Hi guys, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes, teacher, I am here. I am here. All right. So go ahead, you guys. They have lots of questions to discuss. Um. Okay. Hello, hello. Hi. All right, I think everybody's back now. Okay, guys, very good, very good. Um, tell me, what are the some of the pet peeves that you have? Not, not, not that you that you make other people peeve about, but but what are your pet peeves? What are the things that annoy you from other people?
So what do other people do that you're like, oh, I, you know, that makes me go crazy? For me, uh, it will be people that are always late. I don't like mm. that. Okay. Okay. All people that are always late. All right. What about the rest of you? In my case, I hate when when somebody uh, don't answer the phone, you know? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, especially oh. from my family, for example. Mm. You know? Okay. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't like that. No, I, All right. I hate that. You know? Right. <laughs> okay. Got it. Got it. Yes. Okay. What about the rest of you? Something that make me feel pissed off is when somebody kick a dog on the street, for example, or any animal. When someone does what to the animals? Kick or oh, try okay. to hit them. Hmm. Kick, you know. Patata. Yeah. 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 Or try okay. to do something, you know, like oh. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, that okay. Really made me feel like a piece of. Yeah, so you're uh, an animal advocate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, what about Yancy? People don't say hello. People in not say hello. Okay. So, all right. Very interesting. Okay, don't so we answer, are... but. Maybe when, when somebody says, hey, good evening, uh, good morning, and the people is like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything is the morning, they say, they don't say hello, or maybe pass in front of me. Yeah. And I... they, they don't answer you back. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. So we all have different pet peeves, right? Now, what do you, what pet peeves could you be accused of? Arriving what, late. Which one? <laughs> Arriving late. <laughs> Arriving late. Okay. All right. So, so Susanna would be pet peeved with you. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like. People that that are arriving. <laughs> Mind that I never return phone calls. Uh, okay, we okay. All right. Who okay. said never return phone call? No, I, I don't. I, I, think don't was, I don't. I think like... it was Eduardo. Is it Eduardo. I never will tell you. Oh, yeah. I never will tell you. Just let That's me see. Uh, mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting, right? Because. Uh, we all have pet peeves, right? We all are bothered by things, but we, but those things that bother us are sometimes other things that we do bother other people, right? So it's like a trade-off, right? Where nobody's perfect, right? So it's like, we gotta be patient. Okay. All right, guys. So now let's take a look at this conversation that we have between Jackie and Bill, Okay, so please, Selma, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, I can. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> good. All right, let's take a look at it. It says, um, you asked Beth to be here around nine. Sorry, for around seven, sorry. Didn't you? Can you repeat? Uh, you asked Beth, everybody. Yeah, yeah everybody. Beth here around seven, did you? Okay, I'll repeat again. You asked Beth to be here around seven, didn't you? You asked, you asked, asked, asked Beth, Beth to, to be here around, around seven, seven. Did, did you? you? Good. Notice it's not did you, it's didn't you. Right. Didn't you. Good. Yes, what time is it now? Yes, yes. what, what time, time is it now? now? It's almost eight. It's, it's almost, almost, almost eight. 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 I wonder what happened. I wonder, I wonder what, happened. what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Mm. Mm. She might have she forgotten, have forgotten, 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 forgotten the time. time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? Why don't I go and see if she's on her way? Why? A few minutes later, we have. I got her voicemail. I got her voicemail. I got her voicemail. 
I got her voice. So she must not have turned on her cell phone. So she, she must have turned on her cell phone. cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. I hope, I hope she, she didn't, hope she didn't, didn't have, have a problem, problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten. Of course, she may have, have, may have, have simply forgotten. 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 And then something else today. And then something, something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. No, no she, she, couldn't she couldn't have, have forgotten. forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I, I just talked to her about, 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 her about, about it yesterday. yesterday. I guess we should start without her. I guess we should start without her. Okay, very good. Do you have questions about pronunciation? Please write in the chat any words that you have about, any questions you have about pronunciation. Teacher, I have a question. What is the correct pronunciation? Okay, uh, could you forgot, forgotten, forgotten, or forgotten? Okay, uh, if you want all the words that you want me to um to to um explain them the the pronunciation, you can forgotten. write in the chat. So okay, so this word here. Um, what it, what happens is this is what a word that we call um, a flap T, okay? A flap T is, this is actually in American English, a flap T is a, is a letter T or, um, or a double letter T that is between two vowels. When we have, um, when we have this, um, the situation, or if you notice, like the there's a double T and between, uh, sorry, uh, like it's between the letter O and the letter E. So it's between vowels. When that happens, it becomes a flap T. And what that means is that it's um we don't pronounce like a T. We pronounce sometimes it's between a D and an R. Okay, so in this case, we can say forgotten, forgotten, forgot, forgotten. Or it could be forgotten. It also could be pronounced forgotten, forgotten. Okay. Now that's more American English. Now, if you're going to talk about British English, it could be pronounced forgotten. That would be a British English. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Yes. So the, so there are basically three ways we can pronounce it. If it's American English, we can say forgotten, ren, right? Forgotten. So it's a bit like an R sound. Or it can also be forgotten, forgotten. Or if it's a British English, forgotten. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. All right. Uh, any other words you can write in the chat? Let's say you're not sure how to, how to pronounce them. In other words? No, for me. I hear just two words that somebody couldn't pronounce, like I couldn't and should. Hmm. And the last one, mm -hmm. uh, she couldn't have forgotten, I guess. Okay. So, so we have, so these words here are what we call uh, modals, modal auxiliaries. And just like the word would, you do not pronounce the L. The L is silent. Okay, so 
Do not pronounce the L. Okay, so you're going to pronounce it could, could. The other one, should, should. Okay, could, could. Can you repeat after me? Could, could, could. Everybody, everybody, so that I make sure that everybody could. 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 Very good. And should. 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 Yes. Should. should. Very good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else that you have? Any other questions? No, just like if somebody pronounce their letter L, like a cool. This. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. No. No teacher. Okay. No teacher. All right. Um. And what about the spelling? Sorry, the the. The meaning, sorry. How about the meaning? Do you have any questions about the meaning of certain words? You can write in the chat as well. Like you can write in the chat if you have questions about the meaning of the words, of any words. I think it's clear. Voice, voice, voice mail is like. Uh, could you write it in the chat so that I, I know exactly what were you talking about? Voice mail. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so voicemail is um, when uh, you call somebody and instead of the person uh, picking up the phone, you get you get a voicemail which says, um, so and so is unavailable right now. You can leave a message. So it's a recording. Uh, it's a automatic recording that tells the person that the other person's phone is not available at that moment. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Any other questions? No. No, teacher. Okay. Very good. All right. So we're going to move on. Um, okay. So normally I would... I would get you guys to practice this conversation, but because we're a little bit pressed on time, we're gonna skip that, you know, and we're gonna move on to the next part. So just give me a moment. Okay, so we're going to talk about um, models, uh, past models, uh, sorry, models for uh, degrees of certainty, okay? So speaking of these um, modal auxiliaries, they can be used many of the times to talk, tell us about how certain you are, okay? If you're very certain, a little certain, or, you know, or not very certain at all, okay? So <clears throat> if you're very, very certain about something, Um, okay, so if you're you're very, very certain about something, um we so we can we can use the word must, okay? Um, second. Okay. 
Okay, we can use the word must. Um, so, we say she must have. We always use must have or in the negative, must not have. Okay, must have or must not have. Do you remember that I told you um, a few classes before that it's a rule 100% of the time after a modal auxiliary, we always use the, the verb in the base form. Do you remember what I told you guys that? Yes, teacher. Yeah. So that's why we're always going to have the word have. The word have is not going to be having. It's never going to be had or um, has, never. It's always going to be have. So must have or must not have. It, that's the only possible possibility, okay? And after that, um, After that, we use the verb in the past participle. Okay, so left turned on. Okay. Um, so this is something that you are pretty sure. Um, something that happened in the past. Okay, so for example, she must have left already. So if she left, she left in the past, right? So she must have left already, she, so she left in the past. She must not have turned on her cell phone. She, in, in other words, I'm pretty sure that she didn't turn on her cell phone in the past. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. So just remember the structure would be must plus have, or if you want to make it negative, you could say, sorry, if you're going to make it negative, we're going to have to put the not over here. So we're going to put not. Okay. And then past participle. Where is the subject? Subject. Yeah, of course, we're going to obviously have a subject, right? Okay. All right. And if it's necessary, if you guys um, need it, there will be a compliment. Not all the time is it necessary, but sometimes it is. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's the structure that we're going to be using for the first one when you, this is like let's say that you are pretty much like 95 mm, percent sure okay so it's like 90 to 95 percent sure of something okay does that make sense yeah teacher. okay okay now if you're Okay, oh, by the way, um, sorry, I'm going to, I'm going to just clarify this. It's 90 to 90% sure um, something is true um, or something is possible, better say. Okay, so 90 to 95% sure that something's possible, okay? Whereas here, In this one, we are about 90 to about 95% sure. Sorry. Um, so we're 90 to about 95, sorry, ah, 90 to 95% sure. Um, something is not possible. Okay. So we're, there is a, a very um, high degree of certainty, but the certainty is that it's not possible. That's what we're sure about, 
that it's not possible, okay? In this case, what we do, if you notice, is that we're gonna be using could, sorry, could, not could, but couldn't. Okay, it's always gonna be couldn't. So she couldn't have been at home. And again, because it's could is a model auxiliary, then the, the verb after it is always gonna be in the base form. So that's why we're gonna say couldn't have, okay? Couldn't have. And of course, we're always going to be putting the, the past participle. Okay, so she couldn't have been at home. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So in this one, the structure that we're going to be using is going to be subject plus couldn't, always couldn't, and always have plus past participle. And of course, again, uh, if it's necessary, we're gonna put the complement. Okay. All right. Now, if we're not really sure, let's say that we're not really sure about something. It's like a, we could say that it's like a 50-50 possibility, like 50% it's true, 50% it's not. So I'm not really, really that sure. Um, in that case, okay, it's 50% possible. Okay. Okay, so 50% sure there's a possibility. So it means 50% sure it's true, 50% sure that it's not true. We're not we're really not sure. In that case, we're gonna be using um Okay, in that case, we're going to be using the word may or might. Okay, and if I want, I can, sorry, and, and we're always going to use the have, right? It's always going to be have, or may or might not have. So this is, this is if it's negative. So it could be may have or might have, or in the negative, may not have or might not have. Okay. And then after that, we're going to be using the past principle, forgotten, for example. She might have forgotten the time. She might have forgotten the time. She might have, sorry, she might not have remembered the time. She, she may, sorry, she may not have have remembered the time, she might not have remembered the time. Okay. Um, now, or we can also do it. We can also another model that we can all we can use is could. But in this case, we only use the, the for a minute. <laughs> could have. Okay, could have. That's all. We, we can't use anything else. We can't use the negative. Not like these ones. This one, you can use the negative. Can someone tell me why it's not possible to use the negative of could in this one? Uh, 
Anybody know why we can't use the negative of could? Because it's 50 50? Because we are not sure. Uh -huh. But why can why can we use may not have and might not have, but we can't use could not have? It's a probab probability. Right. What happens? Well, because you're using the couldn't and uh, it's not possible at all. Exactly. Because if I, if I use the negative of could, then it becomes this one when it's not possible. <laughs> so then it's no longer a, a possibility. So it, go full, it, it has a different meaning. Whereas this right. one, no. This one still keeps the meaning that it's 50%. This one, if, all, if I put a, a negative not, all of a sudden it becomes that I'm sure that it's not possible. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so let me write down here the, the structure. So the structure can be subject plus may or might. And if we're going to make it negative, we could say not or would. Okay. Got it? So we can say might not, sorry, may not, might not, or but just simply could. We can't say could not. Okay. Plus past participle. Plus, if it's necessary, we'll have the complement. How does that sound for you guys? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Any questions, anything you want to ask me before we do some exercises? Okay, so in that case, let me send you guys in the WhatsApp group. I send you. Teacher. Mm-hmm. I have a question. Sorry. Yeah. And in the in the in this case, the the, the words must I use to when I negative. Uh, I use mustn't or must not. Se puede contraer. Yes. Yeah. Um. Mustn't. I never. Yeah, you could say mustn't. You could say mustn't. Yeah. Yes, mustn't. in the platform, in the, the platform, and in the exercise, I use the the shouldn't, for example, mustn't. Mm -hmm. Must not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I haven't really checked if in the platform they use the contraction or not, but it is possible. Yes. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. So I got another question. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. No, not at all. Don't don't apologize. Tell me. Um What's what's the difference between may and might? None. There's no difference. You can use it's whatever you prefer. All right, cool. It's Thanks. Up to you. Yeah. Anything else? Remember something you have to remember about modal auxiliaries is that um 
Modal auxiliaries have different meanings depending on the context. So it, in this one, for example, may or might can be used to talk about um, a possibility, but we can use my, may for other things. For example, you can ask, uh, you can use it to ask for permission. May I, um, I don't know, may I have your number? Right, so it's 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 also used to for for permission. Um, so it it really depends on the context, okay, and the structure that we use. But with this structure, it definitely means may or might means a possibility. All right. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's uh do this together. So it says read the situation and choose the best explanation. Then practice with a partner. Okay. Um, so situation, Jane is a, is in a terrible mood today. What explanation can you give about this situation here? Um, I just want you to look at it and then we'll work on it together as, as, as a group. Okay, so I'll give you about two minutes to work on this. Better be. Okay. Yeah, she must we'll, not have. She must not have gotten enough sleep. Okay, so what we'll do yeah. is I'll I'll give you guys about two minutes for you guys to do it on your own, and then in oh, two okay. minutes we'll ch we'll check the answers. Okay. 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 Okay, are we ready now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, let's see what you guys have in mind. Jane is, is in a terrible mood today. Letter D, she could have. Letter D. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D, yes. Letter? She could have e. had a fight with her boyfriend. Letter D. Good. She, um, she, she could, have ha could have had a fight with her boyfriend. <clears throat> Brian got a call and, lo and looked worried. Letter yeah. F. Letter F. Good. He, he couldn't could have, have heard good news. Heard good news. Good. The teacher looks very happy today. Letter A. Letter A. He may have he may gotten, have a, gotten a raise. Good. He may have gotten a raise. A raise. Mm -hmm. Mara couldn't keep her eyes open. Letter B. Letter B. Good. She must not have gotten enough sleep. 
Uh, Jeff was fired from his job. Let us see. He might not have he might done, not his have work done his work on time. time. Good. He might not have done his work on time. My cousin is short of money again. Let us see. He must have spent too much. He last must month. have spent too much last month. Good. She must have spent too much last month. Okay. Good. Any questions? No, teacher. No question, teacher. No questions? No okay, good, good, good. Excellent. Okay. Um, yes, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, and the number five say, no, no, the, the last one, my cousin is short of money again. Mm -hmm. And their answer is letter E. She must have spent. It's not so had to be negative. She must not have spent too much. Uh, so if you're short of if you're short of money, it means that you don't have very much money. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. And so that means that probably last month, I'm pretty sure she spent too much. Last month, that's why she, this month she doesn't have any money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Right does, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what not mistake? Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Excellent, guys. Um, any other questions that you guys have? Not for now. Okay. Hi so, from is this period? What? Hi from. Okay. All right. So tomorrow we're going to be looking at these ones. We're going to be looking, continue with the past models. So that means um, with past models, we always use past participles. So please review your past participles because if you don't know your past participles, it's very difficult to do past models. Um, okay, so we're going to see that you can use other mo uh, modal auxiliaries for other reasons, but we always have to use the past participle. Okay, um, any questions right. so far? No, good. Okay, all right, guys. Um, all right, so just a reminder, guys, you need to make sure that you have finished the platform. Um, try to work on it so that like this week, if you're a little bit behind for whatever reason, make sure that you work on it um, so that you're caught up. Um, you're, you're caught up by by this weekend. OK. All right. Thanks. So that's it, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, take care right. and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Take care. A wonderful weekend. Bye. 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 All right, bye bye. Uh, you guys, everybody needs more weekend, I know. Yeah, but, uh, I know. Bye. <laughs> bye.